guys, Jenna from the Flip Flop Barnyard here. We're gonna be butchering our chickens today and we're gonna give you a tutorial and show you how it's done. All right guys, I'm Derek from the Flip Flop Barnyard. We're gonna be butchering chickens today, so I'm gonna start you off here with our kill cones and uh, show you how it's done. We just grab the chicken by its head and kind of hold it. We're gonna cut right on either side of its head here, right by the, right by the ears. Make our cuts there. The chicken is quite relaxed as it bleeds out. It'll flop around the last few minutes before it dies. But this is the most humane way that we've found to kill our chickens. And from here we'll be going to the plucker. To the scalding tank and then the plucker. Okay. All right, here we are at the scalding tank. Uh, the ideal temperature is between 145 and 150. We're at about 148 right now. We're just gonna dunk our chicken in the water here and just kind of dunk it back and forth and slosh it around a few times. Then we'll check its feathers and see how they're pulling. Not quite yet. A little bit more. Just keep dunking. A little bit more. Okay. That'll do it. Now we're going over here to our plucker. Maybe grab this water for the baby. Just drop the chicken in. Ready? chicken out of the plucker and um, as you can see it does a pretty good job just a few little feathers left on there we'll have to pluck by hand but not bad at all and from the plucker we go to the butcher table I'm gonna cut the feet off first here you get right in that joint right there yeah cut right here in the Slice joint right in the joint and right off. these are going into the pig pen. The pigs love them. The head, because of the way we've cut it, we can just pull the head right off. Again, into the pig pen. This is the neck right here. We make a small incision right here and open up. And what we're looking for is the crawl. It's always on the, let's see, on the right side of the chicken. Oh, excuse me, left side of the chicken. You're right as you're doing this. And you just kind of loosen it all up from there. And it's important not to feed your chickens the day before you butcher because that way they have clean, empty crawls. It makes them much easier to process. And here's the trachea and the one pipe. We release all of that. Then we go to the back part of the chicken. Above Pinch the vent. above the vent, make a little slice. I'm gonna be careful when you do that to not Slice get our fingers in intestines. yes get our fingers in there open up the cavity a little bit then we can reach in with our hand reach all the way up in the chicken and start pulling all of the parts out there's the one pipe that we loosen from the front we get all the way back here Cut down, you're cutting the vent out here with the guts, everything comes out all together. And there you have it. That is a pile of chicken guts. We like to save the livers from our chickens. So I'll separate the liver. If you want the gizzard, you can separate that. And watch out for the gallbladder. There, yes, that little... here's the gallbladder. This little part right here, you have to be very careful with vile. it. I just usually pinch and pull like that livers go into one bowl and the chicken guts go down into the pig pen and you check and make sure everything is out inside you gotta go back in for the lungs 
there on either side of the backbone, there's one long. And there is two longs. And that's a clean chicken inside. We're gonna go from here to a chill tank. It's cold enough outside today, this water is like 40 degrees, so that, that is perfect for chilling chickens. And it'll just hang out in there until we get them all butchered and ready to bag. We'll come back when we're bagging and show you how to do that. So we have went over killing, scalding, plucking, okay. gutting chickens. Now we're going to show you how to shrink rack them for storage in the freezer. So this is a straw that comes with our shrink wrap, bag, shrink wrap bags that we order. So you just stick this inside the bag. This allows the air to escape when the bag shrinks. And Jenna has a zip tie or wire tie that she's going to put on there. It's a two-person job. Yeah. For sure. It takes four hands. And I have needle nose pliers that I just pull the zip tie snug with. We're going over here. We're going to dunk it in our water. It's about 170 degrees. Just a couple little dunks there and pull it out and now the chicken is shrink wrapped. Put it back over here on the table, pull the straw out, tighten the zip tie all the way, and cut it off. Alright, the last step, we're going to take them in the house and weigh them and mark them with their weights because I just like to know how much they weigh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the blog at flipflopbarnyard.com.